I move up a user level to advanced user, we now have some new icons that have just highlighted and become available. So, for instance, we can actually go and now not only look at the program, but edit it. So, for instance, you know, we might set the, set the scenario on this component that we want to refine the cycle time and, and maybe shave a little bit of time out, setting the scenario that in an industrial context, if we're making tens of thousands of a component, if we can save a few seconds per cutting cycle, then there's a cost benefit. So I can actually go and, and change values uh, and then force the simulation. Now straight away I've done something and it said cut too deep collision. So what I've changed there has caused a problem. It won't let this program be sent to the machine and it will force me to change the line and correct it. So it's taken me down to the line and I must correct it to carry on. So there's a lot of error trapping uh, built into the software. Okay, the other thing we can do is do a, a, a new program. So I'm going to give it a name, I'm going to give it some details about the overall size. Okay, now we're presented with a, a blank programming window and the material here. Uh, we can start typing codes if we knew what they were directly into here. Uh, we can click on the the hint here which will at least tell us what codes are available in each column but again we need quite a bit of programming knowledge to be able to utilize it at this level uh, but what we have built in is an intermediate step called conversational prog programming which is more about learning the different process involved in manufacturing a component so if we click on conversational programming straight away it starts to lead lead us through building up a program so we've got a blank program and it says well we're going to need a cutter before we can do any machining. Please select the cutter, which I have, and it's actually now created the first few lines of the program. Uh, it's started the spindle for the correct speed and feed for the material that we selected when we came into it. And then it says, what would you like to do next? Well, I might want to get nearer to the material. So I'm going to do a rapid traverse. I want to move there quickly. Uh, and I'm going to come down to uh, X naught, Y naught, and I'm going to come down a little bit nearer to say to 2. Okay, we've got the cutter now in the view, as we can see down here, and we're at Z2, and if I didn't know anything about programming, I have just learned that a GOO is a rapid move. And then the application says, what would you like to do, do next? Well, let's say we do a circular milling cycle. So again, it will ask us some questions, where do you want the the start point to be so let's go uh, to those dimensions click next okay what size would you like it to be so we might want it 30 outside diameter uh, a 10 inside diameter so we can leave an island there and then how deep would you like it okay click next click finish and we will get the circular pocket created it's put all the codes in, it's put the, the, the special macro code in, so again we can start to learn here exactly what codes relate to what process. So it's a nice intermediate way of working. And equally, we can flick back into normal programming, so we can toggle between the two anywhere within the program creation. This program we're creating is to an industrial standard, it's the same programs we'll see on industrial machines in the workplace.